Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you a cabbage soup recipe. So let's get started. So I already cut my vegetables and what I chopped up was onion, red onion, green and red pepper. I have some carrots that I kind of chopped up a little bit, zucchini, celery with the leaves, and then I have cabbage. And then over here on the stove, I have some lentils cooking because lentils will add protein and carbs as well as iron and fiber to the soup. I also bought some tomato soup for the base and then I'm gonna use veg vegetable and a little bit of chicken stock um, for flavor. So the first thing I'm going to add is a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of my pressure cooker. Next, I'm gonna add some of my red onions and I put this on the saute mode. I am also going to add some garlic, some minced garlic. Yep, that's quite a bit. <laughs> With the spoon, this will be my soup spoon. I'm going to just start sauteing um, the onions and the garlic until it becomes translucent. So now I'm gonna add um, my veggies, the zucchini, the celery, the carrots, the cabbage, the peppers, without making a mess. So now that I added everything, I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. The what? Yeah. So now I'm gonna add some liquid. I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable broth and okay. if they need it. So my lentils are just about done. So what I'm gonna do is add that to the soup now. You gonna melt this a little bit? This soup? No, because I also just added one can of tomato soup. Now for my favorite part, which is the flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit of basil. about that much and stir it together. Add a tiny bit of salt. Start with a tiny bit, add a little bit later as you go. I'm also gonna add some pepper. quite a bit of pepper. <laughs> I am gonna add a tiny bit of garlic powder even though um, I have minced garlic in there. Lastly, I'm gonna add one bay leaf. Hopefully I can find it in there because Lord knows I probably won't because of all the leaves that I have in this soup. So now I'm just gonna seal my lid. Wait for that noise. I'm gonna lock it, and then I'm gonna set it on the soup setting, and I want my soup to cook for maybe an hour or two. Maybe, an hour. we'll see where it is in an hour and a half. We'll see where it is in an hour and a half. And then we just wait for it to start, which shouldn't take long. 
and I do have it set to um, high pressure and then normal. So yeah, I will see you guys in about an hour and a half to check on this soup. So I did switch it to slow cook for a couple of hours. The soup setting was definitely cooking it like really, really fast and I didn't want it to lose the liquid. So I'm just gonna slow cook it um, for now. Yeah. It should be ready by five o'clock. So you guys, this is the finished product. Of course, you can alter this to your liking, just like what I did. Um, I saw the recipe online and then I just kind of made it my own. So yeah, it smells amazing. And I already tasted a little bit of it and it is so good. Now, this is the time where if you need to add salt or even hot sauce, you can do so. Um, if you like um, your cabbage with a little bit of spice, sometimes I do, so I might um, add some. But yeah, look at this. This looks amazing. I can't wait to put it in a bowl and just like eat it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So this is what it looks like in the bowl. And honestly, you guys, it looks just so delicious. It has so many different veggies and the nutrients in it is just, it's incredible. Now you can definitely serve this over rice if you please, or you can eat it with crackers. Um, when I have soup, I like to have it with ginger ale. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you try this recipe out. I enjoyed making it and I'm about to enjoy eating it. So if you do like this video, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have tried it or you want to make this soup. I'm definitely looking forward to knowing if you guys make this soup. So please let me know. Anyways, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.